chapter 3, lesson 3 is about subtraction with regrouping in the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So this is just a bit harder than the last lesson because now it's all the way across that we need to regroup. But from the last lesson, please remember that the pairings were helpful. So we continue to use those as the tool to teach our kids. So I'll start by writing them down. 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5. So our lessons, will, our problems will come from page 68. So to answer these questions, the first one just is written already in computational form. So we just subtract and we start with a ones place, but we can't subtract 5 from 0, so we need to borrow and regroup. And then we think again, just like the last lesson, we start with the 5. We need another 5 to make it to 10, so that's a 5. Here, we cannot take a 7 away from 2, and we cannot borrow from 0. Therefore, we need to borrow from the thousands, make that 8. Making this 10, we borrow from that, making that 9, and making this 12. So here, what we do is we start from the 7, and we need to get to 12. So the 7 needs a 3, and then another 2, to make it to 12. So that makes it a 5. And then we subtract nothing from 9, and this is 8. So the answer is 8,955. Doing the same for the next problem, we cannot take away 7 from 3. We need to borrow, but there's nothing to borrow from the tens and the hundreds. So we need to borrow as far as the thousands place. So this is 7. Cancel that, makes that 10, and then 9, and then 10, and then 9, and this is 13. So, 7 needs a 3 to get to 10, and another 3 to get to 13, which makes it 6. 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 1 is 8, and 7 minus 5 is 2 making our answer 2,856. In letter B, uh, in number 2, letter B and F, we are asked to find the difference. So if we're asked to find the difference, again, key to success is the bigger number has to be on top. So this is 7,000 minus 54. In grade 2, we learned that this lesson is called subtracting across zeros. So, which means we got to borrow as far as the thousands place, 6, this becomes a 10, borrow from that, becomes 9, that becomes a 10, borrow from that, becomes 9, and then 10. So, which means the 4 needs a 6 to get to 10, 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus nothing is 9 and 6. And finally, the last problem is another subtraction across zeros. So we start with 5,000 minus 3,687. We cannot subtract 7 from nothing and we cannot borrow from nothing. So we got to go as far as the thousands place. Then the 0 becomes a 10 as it's regrouped. And then this becomes a 9. This becomes a 10 a 9, and a 10. So finally, 10 minus 7, we start from the 7, we need 3 more to get to 10. 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 6 is 3, and 1. Making our answer 1,113. So therefore, right now, we need to remember that when we are subtracting, key to success would really be the pairs. And we need to remember that when we're borrowing and we're regrouping, we don't need to be lazy just by putting ones in front. We need to rewrite these numbers over again 
to make it so that it's less confusing for the kids. That concludes lesson three of chapter three. See you in the next lesson.